welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today it's all about one company and one company only. If you want to know what this is, stick around. Before I go any further, I am going to tell you what is on my lips and what is on my nails because if I don't tell you, you always ask. Sally Hansen's Hardest Nails Extreme Wear, num color number 420 Pacific Blue. Try tested true blue, one of my favorites. It's almost electric, it's beautiful. It's the original formula, 100%. I love this one. First off, I have from MAC in the Cream Sheen formula. This is Peach Blossom. Nice, beautiful, summery lipstick color. And then I have from Buxom Full On Lip Cream in White Russian. So that is what I have on my lips today. So today we are talking about the company Lavender Clouds and Poetry, which is amazing. I have heard nobody talk about this company and I just happen to be on the Hudson Bay's website, which is a website here in Canada, but this company has their own website with the same name of their company on it. Um, anyway, I was like, Canadian, cruelty free, toxic free, small batches, hand painted. What? What? I have, why haven't I heard of this? So I was like clicking on all of the scent note descriptions and I loved on the Hudson Bay Company, they have six total on their website, uh, five of which I purchased right away because there's one that smells like cannabis that I don't want. Um, but when I go onto Lavender Clouds and Poetry on their website, there's one more that I just saw the other day that I might have to pick up soon. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, this is a Canadian owned perfume house. This is very, very rare. Um, so first of all, super excited. Then I found out it was a black owned company. Fan freaking tastic. And also they're from Edmonton, Alberta. So in Canadian terms, they're on the West Coast. You know, if you know, you know. <laughs> I'm actually from British Columbia, but they are from Edmonton, Alberta, which is just one province over. And that was awesome. They're cruelty free, they're toxic free, and they're small batches. And it's beautiful hand painted bottles, like holy smokers. Actually, this one matches my shirt. Didn't even plan that one out, but um, these are so awesome, you guys. I was so happy to find this brand and it being Canadian, um, wonderful. So this is a 15 milliliter bottle. I believe it does come in rollerball size, as well as you can purchase like a discovery kit of all their scents. And they all look the same other than the different color paint on the outside, which we'll, we'll go through. I, aside from that, they are exactly the same. There is the same spray, just a different color. And of course, they've got the names on the bottom as well. So I'm going to go through each one of these with you guys. And I'm going to put the scent note descriptions up above. I did find them on their website and nowhere else, like with a little picture, which is always nice. Anyway, this one here that I just started showing you anyway is Where the Mermaids Lay. And again, this is a 15 milliliter bottle. The, they range in price. I don't remember what the sample sets are, but they had the rollerball and this. And I think for the 15 milliliter bottles, they range between, I want to say about $60 and $75 a piece. This is one of my favorites, you guys. This is gorgeous. Um, this is the perfect scent for right now. I say that there's seaweed in here. There's citrusy notes. It's just, it's a beautiful blast of citrus. And then there's that salty seaweed as well. Mmm, this smells really, really good. And that is where the mermaids lay. So this was on my most recent purchase. And again, I really love the paint. That's all, they're all hand painted. They all looked, it's a, no, no two are the same. Mmm, smells amazing, you guys. And we have this nice, pretty pink one. This is Dripping Nectar. So this is from the very first haul that I ever did from this company, from the Hudson Bay's company, I should say. This one is just, it's again, has some really nice citrusy notes to it, but there's like girliness to it. There's like a bit of, there's a bit of fruit, sweet, citrus. It's really pretty. It's not my favorite one. So between the two so far that we talked about, Where the Mermaids Lay are, is my favorite. This one's really, it's a really good one, but not my favorite. Then we have this one here, a different kind of soft. And this is a brand new one for me. I just picked this up in my, my latest haul, but look at again, all the beautiful painted bits on it. Gorgeous, I just think it's great. Mm. This one here, I can see men and women enjoying. This one and Where Mermaids Lay, I think would be two that men would love as well. It's fresh. I, I know there's no licorice note in it, but I feel like there's a, like a, the licorice, the seed, 
in it as well. Maybe it's just all the concoction of all the different scents. It is beautiful. I didn't get as much lasting power off this one here when I tried it. The other two I got about four to five hours, which I know is not a lot. I know a lot of people like things to last longer, but for, but I really enjoy it. Again, my body eats up fragrances super fast, so I don't know how this might be on somebody else. But this was, again, this one's really good for men or women. I think that men would also enjoy this. It's just a nice fresh, it's a little zestiness with some like bergamot or lemon or lime, but I get a little licorice in that initial blast, but the licorice is gone now. So now it's more like a subdued bergamot, lemon, lime, if that's possible, because I mean, those scents normally stick around. Those scents are really strong, but I do enjoy this one very much. I've actually worn it a couple times. And then we have this purple bottle in peculiar pink fruit. <laughs> I was thinking it would be like some hot pink color, but again, here's the bottle here. Beautiful. This one is spicy. This one has like, like I think there's pepper in here, like peppers, but citrusy. Mmm. This is really pretty. And I know when I first uh, hauled this and shared this with you guys, I felt like there was like lavender in it to make it like relaxing. That initial blast is very like spicy, but it dries down to, to me, very mild, very calming scent. I may even try wearing this to bed soon. I also get a slight cedar note to it, like oak or cedar, but this is lovely. I am gonna try wearing that to bed, even though this is peculiar pink fruit in the purple bottle, but yeah, I really like this one. Mm, yes. Last but not least, we have soft core. So this one, the juice is nice and amber looking. I wonder, I'm not sure if you can see by my hand behind there, but ah, whatever. Um, this is probably one of my favorites of the bunch. Uh, it did come, I got this one on my very first order and I really love this one because it's so weird. There's tobacco in it. There's peach in it. Like I, I never thought, you know, I almost get a cherry note at the beginning, but I think it's just peach and there's tobacco and maybe it's tobacco cherry. I think there's mixed fruits in here. I get almost a leathery tobacco, peachy cherry scent. It's one of my favorite ones of all five that I have here to share with you guys today. It is something that I have worn a few different times as well. I really do like this one. So all in all, I'm really, really happy with this company. Clearly I bought five of them. I have a sixth one in a cart. Um, but if I wanted to rank all of these for you guys, I would say that soft core is my very favorite. Followed by where the mermaids lay. Dripping nectar. peculiar pink fruit and out of five the bottom of the five would be a different type of soft so you guys thank you so much for watching i am so glad that you guys um clicked on this video it's it's not very often we see canadian companies at all succeed and i just want this company to succeed um i know that they were featured on oprah's my um, my favorite things i guess her magazine i want to say 2019 and so that's really exciting. And I really hope that they, their business booms. I hope they get more busy. I know they got some candles that I've got to try. Um, so I want to try that as well. And yeah, so I'm super excited. Um, I can't wait to share with you guys when I order the candle, hopefully. It's not in stock right now. The candle and there's another fragrance on their website that I really, really, really want. It has cassis in it and I'm like, oh, I love that cassis. All right, you guys, as always, thank you so much for joining me today. Be safe, take care and have fun. Bye guys.